Hello everyone, I'm Greta from Plan and today I'm going to be showing you how to schedule one week of content in 20 minutes or less. Now I know that seems too good to be true, but trust me, it's not. And in this video, I will be showing you how to create a strategy, import media, create hashtag sets, how to use content prompts, how to create a graphic, and last but not least, how to schedule your content for auto posting so you can set it and forget it. Now I know this seems like it's going to take forever, but each of these tasks only takes a few minutes or less, so let's get started. Hello, so welcome to our app. This is the desktop version of Plan. As you can see, this is a very simple and clean layout, and on the right hand side, you will have the mock-up of your grid. Now, when you connect your Instagram, this will automatically sync, so this grid will look exactly like the grid on your Instagram. On the left-hand side is where we can import media, add captions, and schedule our post. And we can also toggle between seeing posts and stories. Now, before we even get into importing media, let's first talk about strategy. Creating a strategy is so important and this is going to make planning your socials so much more relaxed and easy and so much more fun. So go ahead and click strategy on the top of the screen. So at Plan, how we help you create a strategy is by creating these things called strategy tiles. And these are tiles that you can drag and drop on your grid and they act as placeholders so you know what to post and when to post it. To create a custom strategy tile, you simply click add custom, go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to pretend like for this account, a common post that we post is a travel newsletter. And so I'm going to create a tile for this. I'm going to select a color. Now I recommend using your brand colors and this will help you not only know what to post, but what color should be in your post so your grid stays cohesive looking. And then I'll go ahead and hit create. To add this to my strategy, I simply click the plus button. Now let's say you are completely lost in drawing a blank and you don't even know what tiles to customize and make, don't worry, we've all been there. Simply go to content prompts and here you'll find we have already curated a bunch of different tiles for your industry. We have over 50 different industries. You can search for your specific industry here in the search bar. I will just find the travel strategy and select this. Now from here, I can either add all of these tiles to the grid, or I can simply drag and drop the tiles that I want to use. To add content into the strategy tile, you will simply click edit. From here, click the plus button to import media. At the top, you can see there are a multitude of ways to import media. You can drag and drop it from your laptop, go into Collections, Dropbox, Google Photos, Google Drive, use free stock content, or go into Canva. I want to first show you Collections. So our Collections feature is for you to organize all of your media and to have it all in one place. So no more endlessly scrolling on your laptop when you're trying to find a specific photo. You can now organize it all here on plan. For example, under our beach collection, we have all beach photos. Same with our color block collection and so on and so forth. And this just makes it so easy to find the exact media that we are looking for when we need it. Now, this strategy tile is telling me to post a photo of a travel friend. And luckily I have already created a media collection with photos of travel friends. So this makes it super easy. 
To create your own media collections, you will simply click the media tool at the top of the screen and then go ahead and click add collection on the right hand side, put in the name and upload any content that you want in that collection. Once you find the exact photo you're looking for, click add and then click save as draft. So as you can see, now that I have imported content, I can no longer see what it says on the strategy tile, but if I click on this again, on the right hand corner, it will tell me what the strategy is. So that way you always know when you go to look at a post where it falls in your strategy. Now let's go to the tile that says travel suitcase snap. Click the plus button again. This time I'm going to go into free content. We collaborate with different stock photo companies, so go ahead and take your pick on the right hand side. I'm going to go with Pexels and simply find a photo of a suitcase that I feel like will work in my grid. And click add. If I wanted to make this a carousel, I would simply click the plus button add in content and keep doing that for as many posts as I want in my carousel. Now that I've showed you how to import media, I now want to show you how to create a graphic. So let's go into this travel newsletter strategy tile. I'm going to click plus again, but this time I'm going to go into Canva. So plan has partnered with Canva, so it's simply brings Canva up in this little window. It doesn't take you out of plan. This makes it so easy to create a beautiful graphic and bring it straight into plan. I'm going to find a template that I feel like will fit with my theme. I really love this, but I want to make it look more like my account and less like Canva. Once I'm done making my adjustments, I will go ahead and hit publish. And this is going to bring this design straight back into plan. Now, if you want to edit this in Canva again, all you have to do is click on it and then click this magic wand tool. This is going to bring you back into Canva so you can make any adjustments you need to it. To play around with the layout on my grid, I simply can drag and drop and see where this would best fit on my feed. Now that I've shown you how to design a graphic, import media from collections, and also how to use our free stock content, now I'm going to show you how to schedule your post. So to schedule a post, I would simply add in my caption here and then you can either add in hashtags into your caption or you can add them into your first comment. Speaking about hashtags, let me first show you how to create a hashtag set. Click on hashtags at the top of the screen. Here is where you can create different hashtag sets so you no longer have to copy and paste them from the notes in your phone or try to find them. All of your sets can now live here. So for example, I will just give my set a name. I will title this daily hashtags. To add hashtags, just add a hashtag, type what you want it to be, and then click return, and that will add it. Let's just use this as an example, and then I'll go ahead and click save hashtag set. On the right hand side, you can edit your hashtag sets, duplicate them, or delete them. Now that I've created a set, I will go back to create, click on the post that I want to publish, 
And then I'm going to add these hashtags into my first comment by clicking on it, clicking on the hashtag icon, then clicking on the hashtag set I want to use. Don't forget that for your caption, we also have an emoji keyboard. So you can add any emojis you want here. And we also just added skin tones. Now from here, we can either save this as a draft, send a post notification now, which means it will auto post to our account, select a custom time or select your best times to post, which this is based off the analytics that plan gathers from when your audience is most online and when we believe it is the best time for you to post. Once you either schedule that post or auto post it, your first comment and your caption and your post will all be posted for when you set it to. Let's quickly touch on our image editor. So if you see a post and you notice something looks a little bit off, maybe you need to adjust the brightness or play with the contrast, you can do that in our editing tool. I won't get too far into this because that is a whole video within itself but basically we have stickers text design frames overlays an adjustment tool you can crop it here for the specific platform you want it for so we have a linkedin crop facebook instagram so on and so forth now, once you hit publish and your post goes live, your work isn't quite done. We have a few more features that are really going to help you, such as our results tool. This is where you can see how your posts are performing. And this is great to look into so you can kind of play around with your strategy depending on your results. Now, obviously this is a mock-up account, so there's not a lot to show here, but for example, we track impressions, reach, engagement. We also track your color palette, so to see which colors are working and performing the best in your feed, profile views, and your top performing posts as well. Engaging with your audience is so important. So our reply tool is a great way to make sure that you're connecting with your audience from your desktop. You can reply to all your Instagram comments and you can also see where you have been mentioned. And last but not least, our calendar feature is great to get an overall view of your content and what you have planned out ahead. You can also add custom events, which I would recommend if you want to add in photo shoots or days where you're going to be batching content. This helps you just to keep everything content creation related all in one place. And that is plan everyone. Now I could go on for so much longer, but I think this will get you started. We do teach a webinar every single month. It's called Plan with Plan, and that's where I walk you through and teach you how to use tools and get even more into detail. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you over on Plan.